left to travel. Call 911 is making every attempt to try and lead all the way. Still a half a length to the good of Penthouse Pet being set up now just a little closer to the leader. Do you do? Pulled off his heels to go up three deep. Major Mambo is battling away behind them. A length away then Ellie's Gray. Special words calling it an afternoon. Dropping back very quickly from Kushrina. Don't like beg to differ back there around the home corner at the 300 metre mark and call 911 from do you do and here's Ellie's Gray coming right down the middle of the track. It's Ellie's Gray which has stormed up, grabbed the lead. The other of the Gray horses, Kushrin, is running on pretty well back in the field. But Ellie's Gray clear inside the 75. Kushrin trying to run it down. Ellie's Gray from Kushrin. And Ellie's Gray got the money back from $51 into 20s. A big go at long odds. Ellie's Gray beat Kushrin. I reckon some bookies will be hemorrhaging. Behind them then came Big to Differ running on from the tail. And then Major Mambo call 911. Next home, do you do special words and uh, fainting to run last is Penthouse Pet. Ellie's Gray paid twenty one eighty and three ninety on the tote. They'd bet as much as sixty one dollars here on track, fifty one to sixty one, and they've had a real dip at Ellie's Gray, who uh, hasn't won a race for six hundred and sixty five days. They're fair dickum geniuses. Ellie's Gray for Rod Lewis, Sean McGruddy. Coming from off the pace, at odds, backed at long prices, and has got the money to end a drought. In a race, ironically, that was preceded by rainfall. Kushrin, the other grey horse in the event, for Jane Buzzling, Elisa Staples aboard. Running second and begged to differ, who was all at sea, ground away into third spot, ridden by Joe Azapati for the Durant and Miller team. Major Mambo ran fourth. The pacemaker wilted to run fifth. 2.21.71 is the uh, time there. 2.21.71. I do shake my head at times uh, when I try and look at form and how these horses can win possibly on what they've done. This was beaten seven lengths last start in a 1,700. Um, might have made up some ground late in the race, but, gee, it's been a long, long time since it ever won a race. So good luck to them today. The Connections, it's won three out of 48. Blackfriars Mare out of Tiami for G Morgan and D Lewis, trained by Roddy Lewis, ridden by Shooter McGruddy. And good luck to them too if they were clever enough to back this uh, mare this afternoon at the odds. Three quarters of a length by a length and a half. Uh, the last 600, you could walk faster, 38.22. 38.22, the back end 600. 9814, Ellie's Grey, Kushrin, Big to Differ, Major Mambo. A Grey's Quinella. And a great day for bookies that took the risk here with Ellie's Gray. Race five, the club membership handicap at 3.12. 11 starters there. No alterations to the next on the program. Well, let's go down to uh, Adam um, and uh, some pretty astute punters here have picked the eyes out of the value there and they've come up trumps as uh, a few of the satchel swingers try and get themselves up off the canvas. Yeah, Darren, I think you analysed that perfectly. Sometimes the form lines are tough to see. Hadn't won more than 1,400 metres, but a grey on a day like this. And I guess the, the biggest thing to take a look at, Rod, is definitely the breeding. Was always going to get a trip like this. Yeah, we've always thought by Blackfriars, our Salieri mare, um, never had the gumption to have a go at it, even the previous trainers. So I just said to the owners, let's have a go. And I've increased the workload twofold and... It's obviously worked. I mentioned in the preview as well that you take a look at the horse's stats, 47 starts for the two victories, a 665-day drought. But this horse isn't as bad as it looks on paper, very unlucky throughout and often normally bailed up inside or something like that through a run. Yeah, no, absolutely. The, the boys bought her for 10000 She's probably won three times that for them and uh, hopefully she goes on with that. I guess this gives you now a bit of confidence, maybe at least a life, that you can continue some of these races at these distances. We don't see uh, big fields in these type of races, so maybe you can pick up another one or two. Hopefully, because she was a class two, hard to place them, and you've got to go to a class three and hope she can step up to it. She probably should have been a class three or four by now. She's been unlucky. Well done, mate. You made the right move. Congratulations. Thanks very much. There's Rod Lewis, uh, the trainer of Ellie's Grey. We'll now grab uh, Sean McGrady, who I don't think he'll mind having the muddle over his face after a win like that. Sean, uh, it was a nice ride in the end. Yeah, it was. Um, look, um, she's actually bred to get a bit of ground. I don't think they've really um, tried her too many times, but um, she's got a few issues soundness-wise and this thing out and obviously the grass growing longer every day um, really helped her today. How was the tempo through the early stages of the race? Look, I thought it was uh, quite even. Um, they've been going pretty slow today, so um, 
all in all, it wasn't too bad. For a horse that hasn't won for 665 days, did you feel it starting to look around a little bit when it got to the front? Yes, she did actually. And uh, But look, even when I popped out around the turn, I thought, oh, I'm going to get there too early. But um, I was just hoping she'd keep going, and she did. Well done, mate. Go grab a shower. Thanks, mate. There's Sean McGrady, winning jockey aboard of Ellie's Grey, which has won the 2200 metre Class 3 handicap, breaking a 665-day drought.